deep down inside of you, I think there's always that, you know, you want to be a rock star because you want to play in a full stadium. And if you want to be in broadcasting, you want everybody to hear your words and live by them and think about them. And so that was always innate in, in I, I assume it's in all people that uh, take up broadcasting as a vocation, that you, you hope you have that reach. And, and yet, at core, uh, the secret of success is one-on-one -on -one communication. You learn very early in your career that you can't be talking to a million listeners or viewers or readers. You've got to figure out who am I talking to? And once you figure out who you're talking to, uh, you're on your way. Uh, the joke is the key to television sincerity, and when you can fake that, you've got it made. But sincerity is absolutely the key. And, and when I was doing the job in Red Deer at CKRD, it's identical to doing it for Hockey Night in Canada on CBC. So th in terms of a burden of uh, people looking up to you or uh, being a role model, that's off. That, that was the same in Red Deer as it is at Hockey Night in Canada. And you, you always had... Uh, a responsibility to that one listener and, and ultimately the same responsibility each of us as a human has is that responsibility to yourself to, to kind of be who you are to do the things you do and and hope that it's accepted but if you ever have an expectation of yourself or a hope for yourself you're doomed that that, that to me is when you start to get into you know, affecting your performance shaping your performance dwelling on it so and I was lucky because I, I was a long time in Red Deer and I kind of got a little celebrity and I was able to put that to bed which I think helped later on.